Yay, high chair. So as a reminder, it just has this squeezer. And when it does that, it kind of moves the sides and the back. So you can do it one-handed. You put Luke down and strap him in, and then you kind of just line this up, squeeze. I'm gonna squeeze where my hand is. And then sometimes you have to jiggle it a little bit so it catches, and then slide. Sometimes it doesn't catch right away, and then it'll click. If it doesn't catch right away, sometimes you have to use your hand to kind of push in one of those arms and then get it slided on. Uh, usually, if I'm feeding him directly on the tray, I do like to put the white tray on top because it's just easier to wash and to prep it. But sometimes I've been giving him food on a plate lately and it's fine to do either one. Um, fair warning, he'll start, he sometimes has gotten to throw his food, which is not good. He also likes it in the morning time especially to be done with his breakfast kind of quickly and then he often wants to come over and sit in one of these chairs um, and have some more Cheerios on a plate and sit there. He can sit there without a booster. He kind of likes it, getting up and down. It's a bad habit, but AJ's booster is sometimes over there. I let him sit in this chair for breakfast because usually the sun is too bright for him to see a show on the other chairs. Oh, here's a bad example of my that should be at the refrigerator, not hanging around. I was going to lose it. Anyways, AJ can sit wherever he wants, really. He'll tell you, but he usually sits on this chair for breakfast with his booster and his map placemat, and he gets to watch his iPod show. As a reminder there, we just press this button. Um, I think we turned off the passcode, so you don't need to worry about that. Yeah, we must have turned off the passcode. So the shows he likes to watch these days are either on Nick Jr. or Prime Video. 